Hello everybody, welcome back to NO1800 Extreme Let's Play. Um, I want to focus on a few things in the next episodes. And first of all, we definitely need to get rid of that run problem. It's just crippling us a lot. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to get this island here. But I'm not doing this by military force because I don't want to declare war on him. He was kind of friendly to us for quite some time. So what I want to do is I'm going to buy his shares. With the shares, it, it, they don't cost that much, only 28,000, we have enough money, and we don't need to declare war on him. Though, we are going to reduce our dip, uh, diplomatic relationship with him quite a bit. Each share has minus four reputation, so I kind of need to compensate on that, either giving him some uh, gift, flatter him, or doing a quest for him. So in the last episode, we finished with one of those quests. So that ship here, that stands still now for the second time and I hope we make it in time for that quest here, 17 minutes. It should be possible, not if it stands still all the time. So this ship is on its way now and we should get a better relationship with that again and then we can continue with more shares that we can buy. So we have a cooldown now of 9 minutes before we can buy, buy the next share here on this island here, the only island with sugar cane. That is that. So, when I think about it, extreme mode is kind of difficult, yes, but it is also extremely annoying sometimes because of the fertility. So, fertility is the main culprit in this game, and space, of course, because the islands are so small. So, if I play another playthrough of Anno, definitely only, let's say it with only, an expert. So, an expert can at least put the island size and fertility to the maximum, so that we can have a, a bit more space a bit more that's good to say we have lots of more space then and more fertility so it's much comfortable much more comfortable to build however if you're not an expert we're an extreme and here we can do that so well that's a problem of course right now but one we can handle kind of i mean we've survived this far haven't we at least that's good um a couple of other things are happening right now so our cargo ship here we wanted to buy some steel beams. Let's buy t 100 tons of that and get it to New Catan. Because the problem is we produce steel beams in New Catan. But, the huge but here is that um, we are also transporting steel beams to Bellrock all the time. Which is full now. Um, which is okay. So it's okay to have um, a, a cap on your building materials. I'd rather have a cap than having not enough building materials. So that's perfectly fine. But we need more steel beams for more production lines, naturally. So I'm going to upgrade here a few more houses as well. We do have enough resources here in Bellrock as far as I know. So it's looking good so far. Perhaps we should look for the picks. That's going down a bit, but we have enough picks. picks. So let's just build a slaughterhouse, another one here. Oh, we don't have any tim- oh yeah, now we have the timber. Like two more of them, I think. And, of course, we also need another warehouse when we do something like that. Okay. So that we can compensate so many people here. And I kind of like the city here now. It looks it looks cozy. You know, it's on a hill here. Small, there's a church in the middle. I like it. It's okay to look at. The other city, New Catan is much bigger and it has, a, has engineers and here in the middle we have a marketplace and I don't think we need that anymore. So we do have a marketplace here, 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 we have quite a lot of them so I think if I go uh, uh, kill that one here now, destroy it, nothing will happen. Nothing should be happening. So still everything is green, perfect. So we, we have a, a smaller space here now in the middle that we can use for something. I don't know yet for what, but we definitely have the space. We need to build a bank at some point. That would be an option here. What I could also have, I could have a park or I could have an oil power plant. Would fit in here perfectly. If we want to have investors here in Yucatan, then this space here would be perfect for the power plant because it's so central and it just reaches everything. Like if we put it there, look at that, the reach of that, huge. So that's very nice. And the oil is over here. 
So we will only have to build a track from there to there, which is quite manageable, I think. We could get the railway from up here, down here to the double-sided street again, which we've built. So in the future, in future Anno games, I'm going to build a lot of those double-sided streets. That's much more convenient than when I want to have the railways, for example. Or even three tracks, you know, even three streets like that. That would be even better than to have a few of them in your town. And you save a lot of time then with replanning and with um, destroying other houses. So that's, that's something to note for future games. And I'm definitely going to have another expert uh, let's play at some point. So then we can do that. Okay, so this space here we're going to reserve for the power plant. Very nice there. Next is the expedition. Let's have a look. So there is the, the ghost again, right? We had that, so let's try it with uh, faith. <laughs> the crew is faithless. Okay, we lost like 40% of morale. Uh, but we we still have 50% and as long as it doesn't reach 5%, we're still perfectly good to go. And we've got the steel beams now, because what I want to do, because we have enough brass now as well, I want to get those spectacles. We have enough brass, we have enough glasses, so the spectacle fact factories are coming in now. And I just need to find a suitable spot for that, and I think this one here would do nicely. So let's build a warehouse here again. Just without that street here because we want to fit in another windmill here at some point if I need more of that. So let's build it like so. Okay, and here we can start now with the spectacle production. So three should be enough for now. Let's build three of them. Or two. I don't know how many we need. Let's let's keep it at two for now. That should be doing it as well. Explosion in a copper mine. Oh, that's on this island here. That's not good. Yeah, that costs us steel beams again. You see, that's, that's a bit tedious. I mean, why does it happen? There's just an explosion now on this mine here. And now I need to get um, steel beams over there. So let's do that. I have enough of them. And we also have enough money anyway, so I'm thinking about having a... There's another destroyed building here. I'm thinking about having a trade route from Archie to New Catan. So we do have those cargo ships now, I love them. They're very efficient. And Archie also has a quest for us. Delivery quest for 12,000? No. I only do the quest if they offer me a, let's say, an item that I can buy, that I could use. You know, there's nothing useful here. Perhaps something with force on expedition bonus, but nope. Navigation and hunting, that's kind of okay, but 78,000 for that? It's a lot of money. And nothing with the four stone, so that's a problem. And I wanted to sell this warship here, but I'm not so sure right now. I do have quite a lot of them. And we can build another ship of the line here. Another ship of the line here. And we could even build a third one. So yeah, let's sell this one. We need money. Okay, that's another 50k. Just like that. Very nice. And we still have a big enough fleet. I want to do a second in, uh, expedition though, but without the force item, I'm hesitant to do it. But I want to do those pirate hunt expeditions. I haven't done enough of them in the sandbox games yet, so... It could be interesting, so let's do the future dawn. Even though we lack force, I know, I know. But we can't change that. And we want to get... Um, something that combines those things. We need hunting, so... Fur coats. 
And since it's pirate hunting, I'm not going to take anything for with um, diplomacy with me. But crafting should be important. So let's take some hunting stuff. Let's take some schnapps for medicine and rations. And let's also take something for crafting. So... Could we use cement on a, on a ship? And why is work clothes for medicine? It's a bit strange, but yeah, wool, well. Let's take sewing machines two times. Sewing machines. So we have, ah, the morale is not high though. Damn it. We can't do that. We can't do the pirate hunt. I would love to do it, but we just don't have the ships for that. And this rescue mission needs, oh, it doesn't need any force. That's good to know. So we could get a the cargo ship that we have here or the ship of the line. But I would prefer the cargo ship because it gives me navigation. And we can get the, the naval power by getting some cannons on board. This one here. Yeah, 30 cannons. Very nice. And we need something for crafting and some medicine with rations. So let's get some schnapps on that. Let's get something with faith. So the bread. Swing machine for crafting. Fur coat for hunting. And look at that, the morale is still not high. Still not where I would like it to be. Yeah, this doesn't change anything. Well, champagne changes it. Do we have something for diplomacy? We don't. Might be nice to have champagne on board. Yeah, let's have some champagne on board. We fill all the goods now and we have some morale and we've got for every every situation we got something let's let's do this expedition there with the top banana cargo ship so we have a second rescue mission on its way and the other one needs attention again a fearsome pred predator stalks us the cabin boy whispers perhaps he's right for this resupply has not been as uneventful as hoped only the first evening moored in this bay and a man goes missing. Tracks up the beach into a jungle. Many wonder how work can be expected to continue. Let's send some hunters to track it. And the hunt masters actually have found a jaguar. Look at that. Rare for the zoo. Let's accept it. And continue. So we found a nice item there. That we can use for our zoo at some point. Yeah, and when I look around, I, I need to get another island with a grain fertility. So I'm able to, to relocate the bread, you know, because that takes up so much space. And without the grain farms here in Yucatan, I could have another district here with the zoo and with a museum, stuff like that. But, well, this one here is the one with grain. Ceasefire That's too much money. So we could try to take it by force. But look at that defense here. This is going to hurt a lot. We would need a lot of ship of the lines for that. But it's possible, I think. Should be possible. Bye. Right, we have arrived now. I think once this message here goes away. Done your duty. Yeah. You Very nice. Some money here. 38,000 and a lot of reputation Attention that we got out of this one. And it should also be time to buy a second share. Every man okay. Stock has Two money shares now. Reduces our relationship a bit. Of course. You would expect that. Okay, we're back here in Sumbi, and I do have some farmers here now. Very nice, the cargo ship is on its way now on the expedition. So we got two expeditions now. Uh, 
and we got enough ponchos and fried plantains here so people should be really happy and ready to upgrade we need some workers for the other productions here that we want to have tortillas for once and the bombins we have a corn corn fertility here so that is something we can do we have enough timber and the cattle only needs timber as well and farmers very nice so let's do that let's get the the cattle here base here and wait a second do we need yeah we need bricks for that okay so let's build a clay pit and two brick factories for now that's better Oh, that was that was a serious illness here. In Bell Rock. And right, I also want to do to make Bell Rock a bit larger. Do we have enough fish for that? Yeah we do. And a city festival has started as well. So our people are especially happy we got ten thousand now. Tax income. Right, there it is. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, I cannot build a street like that. But we could do it like that, yeah. Get rid of that bridge there. This would work. And I think the ceasefire has ended with someone. Alonso. I make the rules. You want it run out. Perhaps we'll get a quest now that we are on peace terms. Doesn't look like it. The people celebrate your leadership. I pride myself on that. No captain could ask for more. Okay, expedition needs our attention again. Just wanted to try out some stuff there, but that's not possible. Yeah, we need to get rid of one of those buildings here again. Let's get rid of them. This is not going to work. Expedition returns. Very nice. It was successful. Look at that. We get some items finally. Uh, Abbe. Equipped in town hall. Affects ranges of churches. Well. That's not very successful. And some champagne. But it was a level 1 rescue mission, so... Yeah, that's it. But at least we got the Yago here, look at that. That's that's a good thing for the Sioux. So we got something there. Very nice. Let's get the rest back into store. So that's still working out. That was the first one, after all. Let's also get a second or another ship of the line. They're ready. Okay, this is where we were. And we should not forget a pop. And a fire station. Ceasefire has ended. Try 
trust is double-edged. Yeah, she wants more money now, but it's okay. We'll try to be friendly for now, and we really don't care about money. Look at that 14,000 balance now. Now that the spectacles are coming in, I think. No need for hyperbole, but thank you. Yeah, spectacles is full now as well. And don't worry, I'm working on the rum. We just need to have a little patience here. Sir Archibald Blake. The problem is influence right now, so we should get another point once we have more people. But yeah, this, the game is still very much, you know, on the edge, kind of. So if one of the AI declares war on me, we could still have a problem, especially the Admiral. And that is, that is a dangerous game that I'm playing right now. Because I want to take that island, but he's got quite a fleet there as well. I mean, I got a big fleet, look at that. But he is not that far away. We got another clipper here. And quite a lot of those ship of the lines. And the cargo ship. So I want to use that cargo ship here now to create a trade route. First of all, coffee is missing here. So, yeah, let's use a trade route, the, the, the cargo ship on that. It's a fast ship and we can take a lot of coffee with us. So, I think Alonso destroyed that, that ship there. So, that's our trade, uh, trade ship now for the coffee. This is an exception. Oh, and the pirate gives us 7,000 coins. That's very generous. Let's go to, I think Bucastle has the coffee, right? No, it has cotton. Where's my coffee? Ah, on Coffee Island, of course. There it is. And we should have a depot here or something like that. To store more coffee. That might be a good thing. Just like that, 100 tons more. So the cargo ship can take more coffee with it. Right. And we could also think about extending our coffee production. Because I don't think that it's that high yet. And we do have enough money now to afford that. So I'm probably going to do that. Yeah. Let's have another warehouse here. And my people drink a lot of coffee. So that's what I should be doing. Let's have another four coffee plantations here as usual very expensive I don't I don't remember it being that expensive in the sandbox mode though normal difficulty that is just insane because like yeah 12,000 each that's quite a lot and then the coffee roasters I need two of them okay so we have more coffee now and I want to have another depot here. And the, oops, the cargo ship should also be transporting more. So another 50 tons. So it transports 200 tons. 250 tons. It could actually transport 300 tons because it got six cargo slots well no it's so easy to destroy the to delete it I mean look at that this last one here is just beside the the delete button which is transparent so you click on that all the time at least we got this on its way now and the expedition needs also our attention and the newspaper. Newspaper important because we can save some influence with that. So let's get only 10 of this one, 10 of this one and 15 of this one. So we have more influence now to buy the shares which we need. And we only lose some income there. So that's something. And we can build uh, buy the third share. So two shares and then we can finally get this island here. And it's going to be interesting. I mean, when I look at um, the sugar cane, 
I think you've earned the right to a slow death. Sugar cane, there it is. It costs 10 farmers. Okay, that's okay. So we only need a few farmers here. And I'm going to build the rest with um, sugarcane plantations then. It's still not much though, so rum is definitely going to be very rare. Still after this. I don't even know if it's worth it having war over this small island here. But well, that's what I have to do, I guess. Right, and the expedition. Yeah, again the bloody customs of foreign lands. Um, I have champagne with me. Let's let's try that. Nope, that wasn't successful, but we didn't lose any morale, it seems. 55%? Nope, we didn't lose any morale. Okay, that's good, at least. That's that. So, rescue mission still on the way. And I, I double-checked again if we perhaps, you know, overlooked a trader here in the new world. But I don't think so. I don't think there's another trader here. Like Archibald. But no. Don't think so. Perhaps we could explore those white spaces there. Okay, that's it for now. We have more coffee now. We also have a better financial uh, position. And we are also going to expand here in Bellrock the next episode. Stay tuned.